In this lesson, I want to show you how to customize this subscription form here. And when someone scrolls down here to the bottom, you notice it has the trial duration. So if you're offering, you know, free membership for, you know, try for a certain period of time, that's going to show here. And then the regular price is going to show here as well. So what we want to do is we want to, you know, take a look at some of these fields here. You can make all this required or you can you, you can edit different things. And you can also add another option here for existing users to be able to log in. So from the uh, configuration here, what you want to do is where it says registration integration, you want to click on yes. And then you can also, you know, for the short terms and condition, you know, that's another option that you can you decide that's based on your personal, you know, preference. Some people enable it, other people don't. So let's click save and close and take a look at what it looks like. So here you have it. When someone wants to sign up, then they're going to get this here. They can, you know, if they're existing user, they can just log in. If they don't yet have an account, they can create an account. And I also enable the terms and condition here. So if you want people to sign the terms and condition or agree to it before, you know, they become members, they would have to check this. If not, it's not going to process uh, their, their account or allow them to become members. So when you click on the terms and conditions here, it posts this pop up and they can just pretty much just go through and, you know, reread read it. Most people barely read this stuff anyway, but it's, you know, sometimes a good idea to have it. And then they can just click, you know, I accept and then they can either log into their account or they can, you know, just create a new account. Now, if they're members already, then they don't really have to. That means that they had already agreed to the subscription. They wouldn't have to check that part again. So now if you want to customize some of the form fields here, you can certainly do that by going to the, the custom fields. Now the custom field, this is where all the information that's been collected uh, is located here. So for example, when you take a look at the first name, let's, the front end, this is the first name here, this is the first name, the last name, the organization, and so on and so forth. So let's just take a look at one of these. So you can you can pretty much customize the form for, you know, for different plants. So let's say you don't want to collect all this information for, you know, for all the plants. You can for the basic plan, you can be able to collect whether it's just the first and the last name. And then you can uh, designate those other plans for uh, the other plants you have here, the other fields for the other plants. So this one right now has been, you know, designated to all plants. That means that this form field for the first name is going to show up on all plants. And then you come down here, the validation, this is, you know, as required, the size of it, the description. So these are just the basic items here, you know, in terms of, you know, collecting information from people. And you can, you know, pick and choose here what you want to show on the front end and what you don't want to show on the front end. And there's some here that are core fills, and then there's some here that are required. There are others that are not required. So you pretty much pick and choose all the stuff that you want to show. If you don't want to show something here, you can just click on the checkbox and just click on delete, or you can just disable it. Uh, it's not going to show on the front end. 